Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with yet another spectacular vehicle. Today, we are looking at one of the best vehicles that we've ever offered from the MS Classic Cars collection. This is a 1965 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck that's been fully customized and known as Cooked. This vehicle's packing a Don Hardy LSA supercharged V8 that dynoed at 926 horsepower, and it sits on a Roadster Shop spec chassis. You've got to check it out. Okay, to start off this presentation, the first thing I'd like to say is this is a non-rehearsed video. There's gonna be some information that I'm sure to forget. There's so much to talk about with this truck. I have composed some notes, but I would highly recommend visiting our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description. You will also see tons of photos. We really go above and beyond our photography to show you as much as we can with each vehicle. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We're the only uh, classic car dealership that services every vehicle that we sell and we document the work with an invoice. On this particular truck, you will not see the invoice in our gallery simply because it was completely serviced and gone through by the company who built it prior to our acquisition. However, uh, we did do a full detail to this vehicle from top to bottom, and it looks absolutely spectacular. As I said earlier, it's one of the best vehicles we've ever offered from the MS Classic Cars collection. Please do your homework on our company. To start off uh, this here, this is the first paragraph on our website that I've composed. Um, as I said in the beginning, it's known as cooked. So Dave uh, De Delancey, who owned the vehicle, he's the one who had it built and so forth. Um, he owns a couple of restaurants in Massachusetts and uh, he finished this build. Obviously, when you spend a year, two years, uh, doing these things, you're working close with the builders, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, I know Dave had well over 300K in this build. He said it was finally done, it was cooked. And that's where the nickname of the truck uh, came about, so I wanted to make sure I made that clear. This fearsome 1965 Chevrolet C10 pickup is an over-the-top build and bad to the bone. When I say bad to the bone, everything on this truck is high quality and high performance. I'm gonna get more into the details in a minute. It was designed by car designer Tristan Pengley of Renderings by Tristan, located in Canada. It was built by Chris Sears and his team at Chris Sears Customs, located in Taunton, Mass. 
I want to give Chris a shout out. He's a great guy. Uh, he's done really well with his business. Uh, again, he's only 30 minutes uh, from us. Uh, we had a chance to go to his operation, check out his shop, uh, see some of the cars that he's working on. He's not a guy who's in the limelight. He's not, you know, at all the SEMA shows and, and, and McCackins and World of Wheels and things like that. He just keeps kind of busy doing his thing and he puts out an unbelievable product. One of the best things that Dave loved about Chris was that fact that he is just one of those guys uh, that really just goes hard every day and puts out tremendous work. Um, so this truck was featured in the first issue ever made of Trump Hub magazine, which we have a copy of uh, that's included. Uh, that was the summer of 2020 edition, if you want to check it out uh, online. As the VIN number indicates, this truck was built in Atlanta as a factory 1965 Chevrolet half-ton long bed two-wheel drive pickup truck. It was discovered by car collector and enthusiast Dave Delancey of Middleborough, Mass. Having worked with Chris on a number of prior builds, Dave wanted to create the most awesome 65 C10 on planet Earth, and that's exactly what he did. Dave understood it was gonna take multiple years in an open checkbook. The build actually started in September of 18 and was completed in December of 19. Chris only builds a few cars per year and uh, was able to get this one done in a pretty reasonable time frame with all things considered. Uh, on that note, uh, he does have a backlog a few years. Most builders today, if you contact them and they're a reputable company, they're telling customers two, three years out. If you were to ask companies where their builds prices starts at, most companies, because I'm very familiar with a lot of the companies, I've done business with a lot of these companies and these top builders, they'll tell you that their restorations and builds start at 250 grand, 300, 400. I've had clients that have spent five and six hundred thousand dollars building vehicles like this. So again, do your homework on that if you're not aware of what it takes to put something like this together. Since completion. Uh, Dave logged a total of 496 miles, and it's the first time it's ever been listed for sale right here, right now. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's powered by a Don Hardy LSA V8 with a Whipple supercharger putting out 926 horsepower. That's a huge number. Also, it's coupled the engine to a TCI Automotive GM 4L 80E Street Fighter automatic transmission. That's a great transmission. The Roadster Shop chassis provides a full chassis performance for the ultimate driving experience. Once again, this is one of the best vehicles I've ever offered from the MS Classic Cars collection. So let's get into the body. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna start kind of from the front. I'm gonna make my way around the entire vehicle and then we'll get over to the driver's door. I'll show you some of the interior. We'll go back over to the passenger door. I'll show you some of the interior as well. And then we'll get into the engine bay and finish talking about the undercarriage. So uh, as we come to the front here, I'm gonna use my flashlight just to kind of highlight some of this. You might not see as much in the camera, but what I'm looking for is any imperfections at all to mention. This truck has very little imperfections. Again, it is spectacular. Uh, so this C10 is so beautiful, it's hard to put into words. The stylish and sporty design is truly timeless, especially when it's been slightly customized like this vehicle here. The goal with this build was not to go too crazy with the design of the vehicle. As an example over there, we have a vehicle that we're very proud of, a 67 Ford Mustang Fastback. That vehicle, they went really crazy with the design, body kits and things like this. This vehicle was built to be a little bit uh, custom looking, but they wanted to keep that original appearance and they nailed it. So again, uh, wanted to touch base on that. The body was removed from the original chassis and it was media blasted. We have pictures of that in our photo gallery. Make sure to see that. We've got the, the chassis, we've got the, the cab, we've got the bed and so forth. Make sure to look at that. The body was uh, sprayed a proxy primer before the custom metal work was started. The body received new floors, lower A pillars, cab corners, door bottoms, and a fender. The body was laser leveled and all the panels were precisely gapped to one another. I can't 
explain to you in words, you can't see it in the photos, you can't see it in this video, how amazing the bodywork is on this vehicle. If you look at newer vehicles today, uh, Cadillacs, BMWs, Mercedes, some of the best cars out there, even their gap lines on their cars are still not perfect. This vehicle here truly is gapped, just like you would see a new car today. It is phenomenal and much better than what the factory ever did. Just wanna make sure I mention that. The bed of the truck was widened in the back to give you a straight line. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm sitting here in the front of the vehicle. I look down the side of it. It is so laser straight and that bed being brought out was such a great idea. Again, tip my hat to Dave and Chris for kind of coming up with that idea to do that. Um, it was finished in Porsche Car Carmine Red. Uh, which is a beautiful color. This color kind of changes depending on the lighting. So you'll notice in the showroom photos, it looks like one color. When you look at the photos outside uh, in our gallery, there's some pictures I put in there that were taken at Dave's house. There was pictures from the magazine and so forth. Uh, I even took a picture in front of uh, Chris's shop and we went to pick the truck up and you'll see that it kind of changes color a little bit. It is an absolutely stunning color. Uh, to see it in person is amazing. This is one of the best paint jobs that we've ever seen. Uh, they put five coats of really high-end clear coat. It looks awesome. Again, can't say enough about that. Now, as we talk about the hood, this is kind of an all factory deal here. Again, all these body lines and everything are from the factory. They really nailed it at Chevrolet. The cowl is beautiful. You'll notice it's got chrome wipers. They're brand new, brand new wiper blades. They're fully functional. That windshield is brand spanking new. It is tinted. It does have that nice rubber seal around it. Again, absolutely awesome front end here. As we make our way down, uh, as we, move down toward the bumper, you'll see that these 65s are really uh, unique, this, this model um, where you get these parking lights as part of the actual hood, which is kind of cool. And then of course, uh, we got this really big, bold, brand new chrome grill. They had got this from LMC. You'll see the word Chevrolet here in black. Again, it looks so classy. And then of course we have H4 uh, LED headlights. The front bumper was actually uh, tucked underneath. Uh, they concealed it great. Uh, it looks really, really smooth. Uh, it was narrowed and everything else, so it just gives it more of a cleaner appearance to not have it sticking out as much as what the factory did. And the chrome work on that bumper is spectacular. Again, this was an open checkbook build. Dave spent whatever it took to get the best of the best, and it clearly shows uh, as we walk around everything here. So, um, looking at these wheels, uh, again, these wheels here are, I, I think, the perfect wheel choice for this particular truck. It's got such a great ride height. These are forge line grudge wheels. These are a three-piece wheel. They're polished here. They are polished on the edges, which looks spectacular in the center. And this here is actually kind of a bronze uh, metallic, which just really complements this red color. And of course the rims are wrapped with brand new Michelin uh, Pilot Sport tires. These are 285, 30, 20s. They look awesome. Again, look at these gaps. When you start making your way down and you look at how these gaps are and everything, it just doesn't get any better. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning. Again, we have brand new tinted vent windows. We got brand new chrome strips here. Uh, we have these recessed door handles. A lot of people probably recognize them. Uh, King Did It Design is where they came from. Those are a really trick uh, door handle. Again, we'll get into the interior as I make my way around. But again, looking with my flashlight here, I don't see one single scratch. I don't see one single blemish, one single chip. Everything is just in such beautiful shape. These chrome moldings, Again, we're all restored, replaced. They're beautiful. You can see how it dips down here. Again, flush mounted bed. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. The paint is equally as beautiful on the bed. The rear of the cab uh, has brand new glass as well. This one is flush mounted. Uh, so it gives it kind of a really sweet appearance. Uh, this, this factory design here is really cool. It almost appears as if the 
Top of the cab has a spoiler on it. And then of course we got these brand new stainless uh, custom appointments here, which are beautiful. Again, every screw, every nut and bolt on this has been touched. And again, the body work is flawless. It's, it's spectacular, laser straight. Again, these moldings come right down here. You can see how beautiful these wheels are tucked inside here. Uh, again, these are forge line grudge wheels. Again, three piece, beautiful polished lips, polished pieces here. Again, this bronze metallic. Again, awesome design. Look at the size of these tires, three, 45, 30, 20s. Now, to accommodate those tires, you have to obviously modify the bed. Uh, so these tubs were actually fabricated, handmade. You'll notice that they have this special design in them. And when I open up the hood, you're gonna notice that the uh, back side of the hood also has these designs uh, in the uh, inner fender parts do as well. It all kind of flows together. You will also notice, uh, you might, might not in this camera and video here, but you will in our photos online, that the back of this bed was actually finished in a matte red material, which I thought was a great idea. So it gives you just a little bit different appearance with the back of the bed, but obviously all the bed pockets were smoothed. So you can see how streamlined and how clean all this looks. Uh, again, every single bolt, nut, everything is brand new. It's all polished. You'll see the little tow hooks. So if somebody wanted to put something in the back here and strap it down, you got these little tow hooks in the corners. Uh, now, special story about this wood here. And I am gonna reference my notes to make sure I don't mess this up. The rear bed has authentic zebra wood that was imported from Africa and painted with 11 coats of clear for a super glossy finish. The bed was then decorated with chrome bed rails. It was obviously polished and looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, there is a fuel filler uh, that's over here in the corner. I don't know if you can see it, but this is here. Again, you can see it in our pictures. This is actually where the fuel filler is. They did a great job concealing that. Uh, because the original fuel tank in this vehicle was actually behind the seat. Uh, what they've done is they've relocated it under the vehicle. I'll touch base on that a little bit later. Uh, but again, that's where the fuel filler is. You'll notice that the door handle on these is actually here, for the tailgate rather. Uh, and again, you can see the back side of the Chevrolet uh, in the back, which looks absolutely amazing. If you go online and you look at a 65 C10 truck, and compare it to the back here, you'll clearly see the differences of what they've done. You'll look at the gap lines, you'll look at things like these taillights. Uh, they did such a beautiful job. Now, the cool thing about the rear bumper is the rear bumper was narrowed, it was flipped upside down, and it was tucked for this super streamlined appearance. So the bumper actually is perfectly lined up with the edge of the bed here. It's such a beautiful design, how we did this. Again, this is the kind of stuff that takes so much time, so much work, and so much money. Uh, absolutely spectacular. And again, I'm not putting my flashlight on this whole thing because, again, it's, it's in impeccable condition. There's really nothing to talk about as far as imperfections are concerned. I mean, it's, it's as beautiful as you could imagine. Uh, again, it's so hard to talk about how spectacular something is you know, in front of a camera, uh, when you're doing a video or taking pictures, it's just a vehicle that you really have to see in person. Uh, when I saw the pictures uh, that Dave had showed me the vehicle, uh, I thought it was really cool. It looked really nice. I was super excited about it. I knew that Chris did really good work, so I expected it to be beautiful, but quite honestly, once I saw it in person and really started studying the, the craftsmanship and the work, uh, it, it's amazing. Keep in mind, I've been to all the big shows. I've owned some of the best cars in the world. I, we were just at Barrett Jackson selling our nine vehicle collection. They had the Barrett Jackson Cup deal where they had a bunch of the best custom cars that were built, a special thing uh, that they had done. And we checked out all those vehicles. Um, and this vehicle fits into that category of one of the best. It truly is. Uh, so as we make our way over to the side here of the bed, Again, it's in absolutely beautiful condition. Beautiful stainless here, laser straight. Nothing worth mentioning here. 
other than how beautiful it is. Once again, look at the wheels and how nice this stance is. This does not sit on air ride. This is a permanent stance. It's permanent. Look, look at it. Absolutely stunning. Those massive tires, massive wheels. Again, handmade, fabricated tubs in the back. Again, you make your way over to the top here. It's in beautiful condition. Look at this. The fit and finish is second to none. This looks like it was done at a super high-end factory. Look at these gaps. Absolutely amazing. All the way down to the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful work. Again, new glass, new vents, really spectacular. Recessed door handles. Again, making our way over to the front. Again, beautiful condition. All these spectacular gap lines. These wheels have no rash on them whatsoever. They're truly out of a box new. Look at this. Again, this is such a great match, this color and so forth. Can't say enough about it. Now, as we make our way over to the driver's side, I am gonna open up the door here and just talk a little bit about the interior. So, I wanna reference my notes on this because there's some things that I wanna make sure I do not forget to mention. And again, as I said in the beginning of the video, there's so much to talk about here. If I did not have these notes, I would definitely forget some of this. But this custom C10 interior is so beautiful. Once again, it's hard to describe in words. Ben Hermans of Hermans Design, located in Worcester, uh, Massachusetts, designed the complete interior. So one person did the design of the exterior. Another person did the design of the interior. Go on these websites of these designers and check out their work. Again, this is expensive stuff here, but it's been laid out by people who are professionals in the business. And then it was brought to life by JK Automotive located in Stoneham, Mass. So the cool thing about this truck is all, a lot of the people that were involved were all from the state of Massachusetts, which just makes it kind of a cool thing since we're in Massachusetts. I, I really appreciate that. This one of a kind interior is the perfect blend of the original design with the modern upgrades. Okay, very important, during the build process, the floor was extended four inches. So four inches forward, okay? The work it takes to do something like that is massive. But Dave Delancey is 6'5", okay, I'm six foot. When you see the picture of Dave and I staying next to together, I look small compared to him. He's a monster. Well, he needed to fit in here. So what they did is they accommodated him and they extended the floors four inches. What they also did is behind this bench seat, which again is where the fuel tank normally is, they actually went into the body and extended it three inches. So Chris created seven inches of more space in this vehicle than what the standard vehicle had from the factory. Very impressive. Okay, just wanna make sure we touch base on that. Um, the, again, the floors were covered with a special paint for sound deadening before everything was done. Items like the headliner, the dash, the mini console, they were all fabricated. Okay, so this is a factory style dash here. But as you can see down here, it has this, this, this is actually an ABS plastic piece that they handmade. And then of course it was, it was covered. It was, this was painted. Everything was done so tastefully. Um, the sun visors, uh, the panel under the dash, the kicker panels, the door panels, the center console, the bench seat, the rear panels, everything was upholstered in Hyde's tan imported leather. This leather looks so rich. It's so soft to the touch, uh, it really is amazing. One of the things that stuck out to me when I first sat in this interior, and this is clearly probably the best interior that we've ever had at MS Classic Cars, and I say that because of the thought process that went into it and the fit and finish is really second to none. When I sat in this interior, the one thing I noticed, that, which I know sounds crazy, but the one thing I noticed is the sun visor clips. 
They actually have these clips up here. So when the sun visors come down, a lot of times these can be annoying and they have little clips and stuff. They use kind of the factory style uh, support brace, but when you fold this up, it actually tucks underneath. I just thought that was just an example of how beautiful it is. The headliner is really just spectacular how they did this headliner. The rear view mirror, again, the dash, all of these gauges, they're plastic uh, instruments gauges, and you can see it's got an RPM gauge, it's got the speedometer. I just love this whole gauge cluster here. It's got the boost, you know, for the supercharger, oil pressure, fuel, volt. Um, you got your windshield wipers here, you got your headlights. This is a really cool feature right here. This is actually your high beam. These were custom made. You can see how, look at the attention to detail. See, this little piece here matches this little piece here. It's the littlest things. And then this right here is your electric emergency brakes. It actually has an electric emergency brake that works great. It lights up and so forth when it's operating. Uh, you've got this tilt steering wheel. This is a Flaming River uh, tilt steering wheel, which works flawlessly. And then of course you've got your normal gear shift lever and so forth. Uh, your turn signals. Now, this particular steering wheel here, this is actually a, a Con 2R two-spoke steering wheel that was painted to match, obviously, the rest of the interior. It's got the chrome uh, horn button, which is functioning. The other thing that's over here is the Vintage AC. Uh, this is the heating and, and AC system control panel. You got your two vents. This is a uh, retro sound uh, radio with speakers and everything else. And then, of course, the Chevrolet uh, is inscripted in the glove box, which is a functioning glove box. They did such a beautiful design. These are low car uh, pedals down here. These are black pedals. They really look nice. Uh, this is a very, very uh, high-end rug material. And then as I mentioned earlier, it had a center console. Not only does this center console have cup holders, it also has a wireless cell phone charging platform here in USB connections that were all built in. Again, everything is in great working order. Once again, attention to detail. Not only did they wrap it in the same color, but they used the same black rubber material with the same lines as they did these custom headlight switches and what's on the dash. Again, this is the kind of stuff that you have to stare at it for a few minutes to understand. Now, talking about these door panels, uh, Dave was going into so much detail. He said, Mark, they actually designed those door panels on a computer then they, they made everything by hand. Think about the time. Uh, he said to me that this interior was like a $50,000 investment, just the interior. Look at the craftsmanship. They have magnetic fasteners to hide screws and bolts and things. These are actually power uh, windows in this vehicle. As I mentioned, it looks like it has a vent crank, but really what this is is the power window. The vent opens up manually. Then you got your door handles. Again, they use kind of like a uh, vintage style speaker cover that says Chevrolet. Once again, it kind of matches everything. They brought that beautiful carpet into the door panels. Again, I can't say enough about the interior. Um, this seat is super comfortable. Uh, again, it's super soft to the touch. It's got seat belts. It does have a center armrest that actually folds down. When you move this forward, you can actually see mat pockets that are in the back. I thought that was another great idea. If you want to stuff things in the back there, uh, you've got custom mat, mat pockets. Even the door strikers and all the bolts, all the rubber pieces, everything is done to the highest level of quality. One thing I do want to mention about the bench seat, because uh, it is an important deal, the bench seat is the glide engineering seat frame. So it's not the original seat frame. It's actually a custom seat frame uh, that was done by Glide Engineering. And again, the carpeting is a German square weave carpeting that does also have built-in uh, floor mats. So I think I covered uh, pretty much everything with the interior. Let's do this. Uh, let's make our way over to the passenger side. And I'm just going to show you the passenger side really quickly. And then we'll take a quick break and I'll open up the engine bay and then we'll make our way right to that as well. So check this out. Again, look, look at this. Every single nut and bolt is brand new. Th look at the work. Again, you have to look at these vehicles that are online. You gotta look at these vehicles that are sold at auctions. You gotta really study them. There's a lot of beautiful vehicles out there, but there's a difference between 
a build of a certain level and a build of this level. This is at the high level of a build and it's these type of little things that make a huge difference. Again, spectacular. So I'll go ahead and open up the hood here and uh, show you the rest of it. Okay, now the hood is open. We can highlight this masterpiece. This engine compartment is clearly spectacular. That's the word that comes to mind. Uh, you'll see the back side of this hood was finished in this, uh, again, satin black uh, material, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It does have hood pumps. Uh, we do have this mechanism in here uh, just to keep it from closing, keeps it a little bit sturdy. Uh, when you look at the firewall, they did an absolutely beautiful job smoothing the firewall, painting it body color. They got rid of all of the holes. You don't see any wiring. You don't really see much of anything at all. Again, they notched it beautifully to fit this engine in here, which again looks spectacular. These uh, tubs here, these inner fenders, uh, they were bead rolled. Uh, which looks amazing. This matches the ones that are in the rear bed that I had went over earlier. Again, the hours and time it takes to design these type of things uh, is uh, amazing how much time it takes. So again, to make it all fit, to make it all work, and to make it look like it does is a lot of time and it takes a lot of experience and a lot of craftsmanship. Not only did they paint these, but they also handmade this whole front Radiator support here as well, which again, they painted. Notice the details. When you look at some of this and you look at some of the details in the firewall, everything just kind of flows together. Again, I really tip my hat to Chris and his team for doing such an amazing job. Now, this is where uh, this truck is a game changer, right here. So what I would like to do uh, is I'd like to just kind of touch base uh, on this engine. There are some notes here that I've taken that I would like to just make sure I cover because it's got some important details. This is not your typical uh, LSA. So people understand the LSA is an upgrade from the LS3. This is a better built engine, if you will, from GM Performance. So make sure you do your homework on an LSA, which is what this engine is. So let's talk about it a little bit. So this was built by Don Hardy Race Engines, uh, located in Texas. Again, the engine was dyno tested and produced 926 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 835 foot-pounds of torque at 5,100 RPM. Those are huge numbers. The engine specification sheet and dyno sheet once again are included. The engine is a Chevrolet Performance LSA cast aluminum block with a six bolt main, 4340 forged steel crank, 4340 H-rod beams, uh, rods, diamond forged pistons, and here's another big thing with this engine. It has Dart LS3 Pro One 280cc aluminum heads with a 68cc chambers. The engine was outfitted with this awesome 2.9 Whipple twin screw supercharger. It also has a Holley Dominator EFI system, 85 pound fast precision flow injectors, Nick Williams Performance 102 mm throttle body and LS7 coils. You will again see how beautiful of a job they did assembling this entire engine. It was dressed and fabricated with custom valve covers that were scripted uh, with the word Chevrolet. Uh, you can see this here. Again, they hide everything so beautifully. Uh, it just looks like it was done you know, at a manufacturer. Every single nut and bolt was thought of and gone through and so forth. Um, it looks spectacular. This pulley system that's in the front here, that's uh, from Billet Specialties. That's an LSA True Track serpentine system. The engine was tuned by Autotrend EFI in California. Now, the engine is cooled by a custom fabricated radiator with side overflow tanks and dual spall electric fans. So this radiator was completely handmade. And you see, the, look, at the, look at these welds and how beautiful the welds are. Again, attention to detail, a second to none. They incorporated the overflow tanks into the radiator. I thought that was really innovative. Uh, just an absolute awesome job. These are those two fans that I was just referencing earlier. Again, super clean, heat shrunk, 
clamps, this metal tubing. I mean, it's, everything is just so tight and so well uh, put together. So the entire uh, engine, valve covers, supercharger, fuel rails, the AC compressor, the alternator, uh, the pulleys, the radiator was all finished in Cerakote Cobalt, which looks amazing. This is a very unique coating. Uh, everything was done to the highest level, so everything flows really nicely. The engine breathes through those fabricated um, headers. Those are actually long tube headers. They're a 321 polished stainless uh, deal. Again, the work and the attention detail is second to none. Look at how they actually curve around the steering components up underneath. They're not even close to the frame. You can actually, the chassis, you can see how much space there is. Again, this is all the stuff that's well sorted out before the builds are actually completed. Um, it does have a three inch exhaust system. That's one of the benefits when you get a Roadster Shop chassis is you can do a three inch exhaust system. You have the X pipe with this exhaust and you have MagnaFlow polished mufflers. It sounds awesome. Um, the craftsmanship of the exhaust system is a sculptured piece of artwork. You gotta look at the undercarriage photos that we presented of this truck. You gotta see how they did the X-pipe, how they did all the TIG welding. It's just such a beautiful job. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars was invested just in the exhaust system of this truck. Again, it, it, it goes on and on and on. Um, I just can't continue to say enough about it. The engine is coupled to a brand new TCI automatic GM 4L ADE automatic transmission, which is rated to handle 1000 horsepower. So a lot of times you'll get a build, uh, something will have super horsepower, uh, 700, 800, 900, but the rest of the vehicle can't support the horsepower. Whether it's the chassis, the transmission, the rear end, the drive shaft, this vehicle was extremely well thought out, even the suspension and even the size of the brakes, which I'm gonna get into in a minute. So, it's, it's a, it, this is a transmission is equipped with a Circle D Pro Series billet converter and a three inch billet drive shaft. Again, no corners were cut. Do your homework on a Circle D Pro Series billet converter and see what you come up with. It is really a top-notch piece of equipment. The power is transferred to the pavement through the new Ford 9-inch posi rear end that was also finished in the Cerakote Cobalt to follow the theme of the build. The rear end was outfitted with an Eaton Detroit True Track Differential Strange Engineering Pro Series Nodular Iron third member, 31 spline axles, and 3.55 gears. That is the drivetrain of this vehicle. Think about everything I just said. Do your math and add all that up. This is a very, very, very expensive drivetrain and it is unbelievable to drive. Now, talking about the undercarriage, which is the last part of this presentation here. The undercarriage is highly detailed with many custom parts and features. It was finished in satin black, again, just like the back side of the hood. Uh, to, everything, again, matches and looks like it was done intentionally uh, for a clean and smooth appearance. The body sits on a new Roadster Shop Spec Series chassis. We have the tag for the chassis. It's number 3344, uh, so it has its own tag for the chassis. That was also painted in satin black. You'll notice in our photo gallery that we took pictures when they were mocking everything up. You'll see the chassis come raw. It's up to the builders, uh, the person doing the restorations and so forth to make a decision whether they want to paint them, whether they want to powder coat them, whatever the case might be. They again painted everything to kind of match so everything just works extremely well together. The Roser Shop chassis is known for their exclusive laser rails that are precision CNC laser cut and contoured. A stainless fuel tank, you will see in the pictures when everything was mocked up and on our undercarriage, it has a gorgeous steel, uh, stainless steel tank from Rick's Hot Rod Shop, which is mounted to the rear of the uh, Roadster Shop chassis, and it has dual, so it has two Aeromotive 340 Stealth fuel pumps. The power rack and pinion steering, front sway bar, tubular control upper arms, box lower control arms, Willwood Pro Spindles, four link rear suspension, strange adjustable coilover shocks, uh, provide a super sharp 
handling system that you can truly get on the road and just drive the wheels off this thing. Uh, talking about the brakes, remember I had said earlier that it takes, it takes all the right components throughout. Again, you gotta think about your stopping power. So you'll notice in this engine bay, I don't know if anybody noticed, but there is no master cylinder, there's no booster. That is because what they did is they took the, uh, I think you pronounce it Kogel components. It's a 90 degree under dash dual master cylinder that's pushing the brake fluid through stainless lines to the bare 14 inch drilled and slotted two piece rotors with six piston uh, black calipers that are mounted at each corner. You'll notice with a lot of builds that people will do six piston calipers in the front and they'll do four piston calipers in the back. This vehicle has the same size brakes all the way around. So when you look through those forge line grudge wheels, you'll clearly see those awesome drilled and slotted rotors, those black calipers with the famous bear name on them. Once again, everything uh, was uh, finished in this really uh, cobalt finish, including the rear end, uh, including the uh, suspension, uh, the transmission, uh, the engine, all of that, even the radiator, again, everything is kind of following that theme. Uh, last but not least, uh, it does have an Optima Red Top battery. If that's the other thing that you're wondering where the battery is, we don't see it here. Obviously, it's not in the bed. They got it mounted kind of in the back side of the uh, passenger side, mounted beautifully back there. Optima makes a great battery. There's a little piece that's connected if you want to plug it into your charger, trickle charger, whatever the case might be. So that's where the battery is. So that wraps up uh, the video here today. Um, we are going to be doing a driving video of this vehicle at some point. Make sure to watch that video as well. We are also going to be posting and including some videos that Dave had done with Chris after the build was done. One that comes to mind is this really amazing donuts that they were doing on a wide open parking lot. It's another thing that uh, you got to check out. It's really cool. Uh, so that kind of concludes everything. What I am going to do now is get inside of it. This is gonna be a cold start. We have not started this vehicle, it is ice cold. Again, I haven't started this in probably three days, maybe four days. I just wanna show you a cold start. I'm gonna go ahead and sit in it now and do so. Um, before I do that, I do wanna mention if you have not signed up for the VIP email blast that we have at MS Classic Cars, please do so. That is the best way to stay in contact with what we're doing and what we have going on. We have a lot of vehicles that are coming to the forefront Matter of fact, almost every vehicle that's in this showroom right now, uh, with the exclusion of one or two, have not even been listed for sale yet. We've got 15 vehicles in our service department. We've got vehicles in our warehouses. We have so much stuff coming down the pipeline. Make sure to stay tuned to that VIP email blast. Also, we are on all the social media networks, so please make sure to check us out, like us, follow us, subscribe to our YouTube. We would really appreciate it. As I've always said, and I'll say it over, MS Classic Cars is not a big, high-volume dealer. We're just a very small company, but we are doing really big things. We appreciate you watching, and as always, rock and roll. Okay, it's showtime. As I said, this is a cold start. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and let you listen to how beautiful she runs. That's all there is to it. Only takes about three, four, five minutes to warm up, and then you can drive the wheels off it. Once again, we appreciate you watching this video. Rock and roll.